I'm going to do something a little different here. This is going to be more of a highlight video than an analytical video. But it's different from other highlight videos in that I'm hoping to get viewer participation to keep it going. I'll explain a little later in the video. During Lin's sanity, a lot of critics, especially the haters, complained about Lin's poor defense. But I think this had more to do with them trying to find something to criticize Lin on. I always felt that Lin's defense was highly underrated. And he's clearly showing that this year. I think last year, a big reason why Lin's defense didn't shine through was because of D'Antoni's system, which encourages a lot of switching on defense, rather than on-ball defense. When Woodson took over, Lin showcased some of his defensive capabilities, because he was encouraged to fight through screens and stick to his man rather than switching. But by that time, his unjust reputation as a poor defender was already ingrained. Mikhail is big on defense. I think that's what Mikhail cares about the most, which is ironic because Houston is such a high-scoring team. I think Mikhail and a lot of Houston fans are coming around on Lin's defensive capabilities. In fact, back when Lin was struggling massively with his shot, Lin's defense is what kept him in the games. This year, Lin has shut down great scorers like Westbrook in some of their meetings. If you don't believe me, go back and watch some of the games against OKC. Westbrook went off against Douglas, and that's how he was able to get the bulk of his scoring and get a rhythm going. Up until Westbrook went off on Douglas, Lynn shut him down. Some of the things on defense that Lynn still needs to work on is fighting through screens rather than going under. And he also needs to be careful about helping out too much. That's Lynn's main issue on defense is that he helps out too much and loses his man for easy cuts to the basket. But Lynn is actually a great on-ball defender when he's not trying to help out. It's really tough to beat Lin one-on-one -on -one if you notice. The only time Lin really has trouble with his on-ball defense is when he's defending a mouse like Nate Robinson. But basically everyone in the NBA has trouble defending guys like Nate Robinson one-on-one -on -one because they're so small. Lin is actually even better when he's defending bigger men. As a tribute to Lin's defense, I've compiled some of his best defensive efforts here in no particular order. As I referred to earlier in this video, this is going to be a different type of highlight video since I'm going to continually update it. In other words, I'm going to keep adding more clips to this video. The latest clips, not necessarily chronologically, but just clips that I've discovered or come across most recently, will be inserted immediately after this discussion. So in the future, you'll be able to skip this discussion and take a look at the latest clips that I've added. And each new video will have a new number at the end of the title. For example, the first video in this series is Jeremy Lin is an underrated defender 1. The next one will be Jeremy Lin is an underrated defender 2. And here is where I'll welcome some help from you. The clips in this video will give you an idea of the quality of Lin's defense that I'm looking for. There's no real specific criteria, it's just one of those things where I'll know when I see it. If you can think of clips that I don't have in this video, let me know in the comments so I can consider adding them when I update the video every so often. I don't think YouTube allows URLs in the comments, but I'm sure you'll find a way to refer to the clips that you want me to add. My goal is to keep this going and compile a massive collection of Lin's greatest defensive efforts. We'll see how it goes. I hope what I'm asking you to do makes sense. And thanks in advance for your participation. Now on to the clips. Remember, the latest clips we find will always be placed immediately after I stop talking right now.
Orver got it down low. Smith missed it. Lynn in the fast break with a great steal. Delfino inside. Oh, wow. Remember, this Atlanta Hawks team is number seven in the league in defense. And the Rockets are blowing about again. shoot over him now that Parsons comes over Gallinari three seconds down to two down to one look at that defense by Jeremy Lin That's unbelievable Bosch taken away by Lin here come the Rockets great pass to The Rockets have come roaring back on a 6-0 run. Brought to you by Miller Lite. It's Chandler bang time. Yeah. Look at that pass from Jeremy Lin. And Chandler ends up in the front row because he was going full speed. Not a lot of run out room there. <laughs> but the fans like that. Jeremy Lin with a great pass. Perimeter to Wade. Wade to Norris Cole. He runs right over Jeremy Lin. That's an easy call to make. Greg, he's got LeBron James on the other side. You give it to Norris Cole. Yeah, you got to know your personnel. <laughs> they had three on two as well. Great job by Jeremy Lin getting there to draw the charge. Now, Lynn's got James. Tough matchup here. He just bumps Lynn off, takes it inside, lost the basketball. Carson Tech. Randolph takes it inside and a jump ball. Trying to take advantage of the uh, mismatch against Morris. Watch Jeremy with that help. That's just That's really good help, Jeremy. <laughs> really good help. Strong hands by Jeremy Lynn. Going right back to the repost. And that digging it out is Jeremy Lynn. Shot clock is down to three seconds, so. We turn for everything from the practice field to the game field, so I... Seven points for Marcus Morris, all in the second half. Nash almost a jump ball, and it is. Percentage-wise, and same true for Carmelo Anthony. Those are the two stars in this big team. The explosion by Rose in the block by Jeremy Lin. Here comes Anthony, pulling up for a triple. Oh, Harrelson crashed the glass nicely. Supper kept it alive. And he... 
course, you, you have to be, everything's truthful and you lay it out on the board. And if you have a chance for video, you do it. You see there, once again, that's what Lynn is excellent at on the steal. Oh, and that was great job on uh, something they didn't connect on well, anticipating where Anthony at full speed could catch a pass. Beautiful court vision. And that's the... Didn't connect on well, anticipating where Anthony at full speed could catch a pass. Beautiful court vision. And that's the one thing that you can't teach. I, and Lynn has it. He can see the entire court. He can stop me, but I am not going to stop trying to penetrate to the rim. And he can finish with either hand. And he knocked it away from Dirk Nowitzki. Back come the Knicks on the break. Lynn is fouled by Jason Terry. Here's the steal by Lynn. First thing the officials did was try to separate any concern with Jared Jeffries, and a flagrant foul has been called with no play on the ball as he was there. We are out in California, but you're not wearing any Garcia ties, are you? No. Aaron Brooks had the ball taken away by Lynn. Lynn with a steal. He's got Harden on the wing, doesn't need him. How about that to get the crowd going? Look at the Rockets bench. They loved it. And Jeremy Lin puts on the burst of speed, gets his steps right, and throws it down <laughs> on Jerry Garcia. 